Hello friends, this is Tanya with Tinkering in Ink with Tanya and I'm going to show you how to make this cute little snowman uh, candy favor that I saw on Facebook. I will put a note uh, giving credit to the person who had the original idea. I put a few of my own tweaks on this. So let's get started. We're going to start with a 2 by 11 inch strip, strip of Whisper White paper. We're also going to need, well, and we're going to score that, but let's get to the rest. We're also going to need a hat base that is black cardstock, and it is one and a half by two inches or 3.8 by five centimeters. And we also need another strip of black paper that is a half inch wide, and it needs to be long. We're going to use a punch to get uh, rounded edges. Um, and that is 1.3 centimeters wide. And we're also going to need a little strip of glimmer paper that is one half inch or 1.3 centimeters wide and roughly two inches long. It can be longer so you can trim it off. And this is a piece of cherry cobbler, um, I think it's quarter inch ribbon. You can use whatever you like. I like a thinner one um, and it is about eight and a half inches long. So let's let's get going on the pieces. So we're going to start with the scoring. So here is my scoreboard. And we're going to score this. Oop, you want the measurements at 5 and 1 eighth and 7 and or excuse me, 5 and 7 eighths. And that's 13 centimeters and 15 centimeters. All right, so 5 and 1 eighth and five and seven eighths. And we're done with the scoreboard. And then the cute little notches here are created with the envelope punch board. How clever is that? So we're gonna take this and we're going to go two and one eighth inch from each end and punch on both sides. One more, and then we also need to do the hat. So you want the two inch wide side up, and you're gonna line that up, that edge up with the one inch since we wanna center this. Boom, there's the hat, top of the hat, except we need to round that. You use whatever corner rounder you can find. I um, know that we, this we used to carry this one, and now it's retired, but that doesn't mean it went away. And I bet you have a corner rounder in your stash. <clears throat> uh, I have the We Are Memory Keepers one too, but I did not pull that out right now. So then we're going to use this classic label punch to get our rounded edges. So we're going to take our half inch long strip and we're going to carefully line that up in the punch. Just gonna close it enough to hold it so I can look at it and make sure I've got that lined up where I want it. it. Looks pretty good. Pop. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Then we're gonna take a little fast fuse and adhere. Oop, puppy love. <clears throat> gonna adhere that to, or the dazzling diamonds to our hat. You can use tear and tape. I don't know if I'd use liquid glue. Liquid glue is a little tough with um, dazzling diamonds. We're going to trim off the excess. Yeah, I know I'm a little crooked. I'm not going to worry about it. And then a little more fast fuse on the back of this. I like to put the hat together before I put the face on our little snowman because it makes it easier to line up the eyes and get the face placement right to have the hat on. So depending on how much of that glimmer paper you want showing and how high you want his hat, I use my grid paper to help me center that too. I like my grid paper. It's pretty darn handy. Almost there. Come on, nudge. Okay, looks pretty good. And <clears throat> let's attach that to the top of our little 
little snowman. So again, lining that up with the grid paper, I'm going to put it about a half inch down. And since I can center that on the sides with my grid paper, we're all super happy. All right, let's get our creases done before I get too far along here. And this one. Then we're going to talk about the stamp set that I found that works perfectly for this. It is the Tags and Trimmings stamp set. We're going to use this little holly berry and this button to do our stamping on this fella. And that is in the holiday 2017 Holiday Mini. And this is the clear mount, and it's 144832 for the item number, if you're wanting to pick that up. So then we're going to use some archival black ink to stamp his eyes and his mouth. Now, be careful that you don't... Uh, get ink along the edges. So I'm going to go about a quarter of the way in on each side for his eyes. There we go. And then for the mouth, I start with the lowest one in the center and make my way up each side. There we go. And then we're going to do his buttons. I do the middle one first. So about just above halfway down and in the center. Ugh, hate it when I overstamp. That's when you get that line from pushing too hard and having it on the edge. That's okay. <clears throat> We're not going to stop. Ooh, one more stamp. This is the to and from stamp from that same stamp set. It'd be nice to be able to write to and from on that, huh? So we're going to put that on the back of his head. <clears throat> wow, I've got troubles with overstamping right now. What is up? So then we're going to use some uh, York Peppermint Patties. Hang on. Just grab those really quick <clears throat> and get my fast fuse. And we're just going to put a little dab, a little dab will do ya, down here. Wow. And down here. I am so sloppy. <clears throat> and we're going to do one along the top just to tack it in place once we have the patties on there. And I'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't stick out above the shoulders. And we'll close that in the back. <clears throat> then we're going to take a glue dot and get that prepped because that's what we're going to use to secure our little scarf on, our ribbon scarf. So I'm just going to pick it up on my scissor <clears throat> and have that at the ready. And we'll wrap the ribbon around his neck. <clears throat> Tie a knot. Oh, I just realized I forgot to put his, his little nose on. We can still do that. All right, so I want this partially on the ribbon and partially on the paper. Oh my goodness. Stay put. You know, I did this, I don't know how many times, just fine earlier. Like seven times. Because <laughs> I've made a few of this little rascal. <clears throat> there. Okay. So now I'm going to use my ribbon scissors to snip that. And then, just going to take some peekaboo peach and trim a triangular piece off for his nose. Nothing fancy there, just literally trimming a 
triangular piece for his nose. And then I think we're going to use a little more fast fuse because that's what I have handy. You can use whatever you want. <clears throat> Stick his little nose on. And he's done. How's that? It was pretty quick and easy. So here's the first one. And this one uses gems for the eyes. We have the black gems um, and a retired punch for his arms. Um, and this one holds uh, Reese's Cluster. You can put all kinds of goodies in there, Giardellis, all kinds of things. Um, please give me a like. Go visit my blog. Go shopping. I'll at my store, there is a clickable supply list in the comments or in the description of the video, and I'll hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.